Welcome back to our corner on the internet. Okay, so tonight at this vid and it's called Netflix Queen um uh, Queen Cleopatra is a disaster. Where you heard about this? I heard I heard that like, like pissed off the whole of Egypt and all that. Damn. <laughs> but yeah. This video is up by this woman called Amala. I can't even I'm not gonna try and pronounce the last name because if I pronounce it wrong I'm gonna feel really bad. <laughs> and yeah, I just wanna dive right in. Like, how disastrous was it? Because it's the closest I'm going to get to watching the actual documentary because I can't be able to watch it. <laughs> but right now, I'm binge-watching Lucifer and um, and all that, so I don't... And other shows on top of that as well, so, yeah, I don't really think I'm really going to have time to watch this. So, yeah, this is closest I'm going to get to watching it. So, yeah, I'm just going to dive right in. So, without further ado, let's get into this reaction. It's just the fact that they kept saying that... <laughs> the documentary is supposed to say that Cleopatra was black. I'm done. Netflix decided to race swap Queen Cleopatra, and now they have a two percent audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Go woke, go broke. Let's get into it. Exactly. <laughs> go broke. So Netflix just recently put out its Queen Cleopatra series, which it deems to be a historical documentary slash docu series, and they decided to depict Queen Cleopatra as a black woman. Wow. Now this has steamed a lot of controversy, as many have come forth and said Cleopatra was in fact not black; she, she is Greek, Greek, more specifically Macedonian. Opa. Opa. <laughs> and that the skin tone of this actress and the ancestry of this actress does not match that of Queen Cleopatra's. Many Egyptians and Greeks are coming forward and saying, why not cast an Egyptian or Greek actress to play this role? Why are you taking roles away from our people? Now, when you look back at historical depictions of Queen Cleopatra, you'll look and find a woman with very European features. Even if you look at Queen Cleopatra's father, Ptolemy XII, also a man with very European features. Yeah. And somehow, as Netflix loves to do, we got a race-swapped black actress to play Queen Cleopatra in this docu-series. It's important that they're calling this a docu-series or a historical documentary because Netflix is not claiming that this is fiction. Whereas with maybe a Netflix show like Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, we know that they are deeming this to be fiction rather than something that is based in reality. But do you see where the slippery slope mm. begins? It started with The Little Mermaid and Tinkerbell and people calling it out for having race-swapped actresses in these fictional roles. But now we've entered non-fiction and historical documentary the woman who plays the star role as Queen Cleopatra who was recently on a podcast where she spoke about the controversy. Here's her quote. Well, firstly, blackwashing isn't a thing, is it? She's already swept it under the rug. There's no such thing as taking a historical accuracy and making it inaccurate by casting an actress of the wrong race. I would say that it actually is a thing, but let's keep reading. I just think, you know, it's really sad to me the extent to which people want to, and it's not just Egyptians, and it's not all Egyptians, but people want to colonize and remove. Excuse me. But who colonized and removed the real story here of Queen Cleopatra? Just because a black actress has been depicted in this role doesn't mean that you too can't be accused of colonization when it comes to mm. the historical accuracy of Queen Cleopatra. She goes on to Very say true. it's just upsetting. I find it sad that people are either so self-loathing or so threatened by blackness that they feel the need to do that, to separate Egypt from the rest of the continent. You know, I think it's even more important that with telling this story the way that we are, because actually, we don't know. It's really a big question. Mark. Was she mixed raced? Was she not? She wasn't black, we know that, but she might have been part black, absolutely. That's absolutely within the realm of possibility based on the academic research. So, you know, if people don't want to engage with that, that research, that expert research, it's not really a me problem, that's kind of a them problem. It's interesting because if you saw a piece of black history spun and twisted and race swapped to some white character, there would be protests, there would be calls of colonization. Yeah, they would, it would get boycotted. History. Oh, the so fast. Of black prominence. Bingo. But because you're doing it to somebody of what? Egyptian, Greek descent, you're allowed to just swipe it as long as you are doing it in the name of blackness. But no other race is able to participate in the same infraction. Now, let's listen to Basim Youssef, an Egyptian comedian, writer, surgeon. He's got a long background. Who was on Piers Morgan recently to talk about Queen Cleopatra. Hollywood has been erasing my people from the ten We have are not allowed to tell our own history. It's not just Cleopatra. Everybody in that movie, her 
court, everybody who's supposed to be Egyptian, they look like they came from West Africa, the south of the Sahara. We, as Egyptians, are being called intruders and invaders in our own culture. This has been going on systematically. I don't want to wake up one day and find a museum of the African-American culture and history claiming the stolen Egyptian artifacts in the in the British Museum to be theirs. Where are the Where are the Egyptian actors? Where are okay. the Where are the Arab actors who suppose it? And the thing is. The, even like historically wise, you see in the in, in the in the trailer. I don't care what they tell you in school. Cleopatra was black. Who's that woman? Why is African American people are telling my own history? That's a great question. There. Why did yeah. they have to tell his history? And we get so up in arms when other people try to tell black history, although it very rarely happens. And as much as African Americans love to claim the continent of Africa, why wouldn't you try to do that as historically accurate as possible? Casting an Egyptian person would still be casting somebody from africa casting a greek person would be even more historically accurate but i digress it doesn't matter as long as you choose somebody who's actually an accurate depiction of cleopatra and again they're not calling this fiction if they called this fiction maybe it would be a little bit of a different story i wouldn't yeah they didn't say anything even in a fictional tale but at least they'd have something to rely on to make an excuse for why they would cast a black actress this case... so they called this a historical documentary there is no sense in race swapping queen cleopatra <sighs> or the many other actors that are cast in this historical documentary but of course the left is going to defend this choice even though the audience and everybody who is reviewing this show knows that it is wrong and are giving it horrible reviews here's comedy central africa with a take on the misrepresentation of queen cleopatra what are the egyptians so afraid of you think cleopatra is going to turn your history into a black exploitation film yes because that's what you did it seems like we're doing that with everything now and don't black people feel a little bit disheartened by this why can't you just make films about actual black historical figures and then when you do that cast black people instead we're just pandering and virtue signaling to black people and saying you know what we're not going to do a role about actual historical figures that share your skin color we'll just swap the ones that we deem to be important with black people to make you feel better because we're not and, and, they, and they did it for money as well and it ended up tanking look at this shit <laughs> May. This is just mad, bro. Enough to have our actual historical figures depicted in docu-series like this. It's just a shame all across the board. And it's no wonder that it's getting a 2% score on Rotten Tomatoes because people are catching on. Because so far, it's been okay to do it to any white historical figure you can find. That's fine. Nobody cares. Nobody bats an eye because you're allowed to do this to white people. You're so white. But when you start to step onto other cultures, guess what? They're not going to take too kindly to it. And it sets a precedent here. If you're allowed to switch out Queen Cleopatra in a historical documentary, then why can't you do it with any other piece of history? With any other piece of anybody's culture why not switch everything and say all came from blackness which is something that a lot of people are starting to speculate and say right now that we're all black all of the ancestry is from blackness so why can't they just claim everything who's to stop them if you're able to do it with docuseries like this and call it fact just a question we want historical accuracy we want something real and we don't want the pandering but guys let me know how you feel in the comments down below do you care I, I don't think i don't care about the docuseries but i do understand why why the egyptians were pissed off and all of that. So yeah. And then you want you want your history told accurately. And this is just so inaccurate as can't. Lord. Imagine imagine if they made like imagine if they decide to do a docuseries or a documentary and they made King Henry VIII black. Oh no no no. That would be an uproar. That would be an uproar. If I I'd boycott that shit. Like, nah. This shit was just nuts though, bro. I'm I'm like, should should I one day just get on Netflix and, and should I just one just feel myself watching the actual Netflix docuseries, Queen Cleopatra. Nah, I don't think everyone do that. Not with the answer. Maybe we'll, we'll see how much we'll see how much time I have on my hands in a couple months' time. But for now, it's kind of like no. But anyway, jump around. Let's come and see how people say it right now. Someone said, someone said, a saying Cleopatra was a black woman is like calling Jada Pickett Smith a loving wife. <laughs> nah, they they can't stand this woman. Nah, they, I don't know why I found that funny, but these these are just these don't take any. Any opportunity just to bash this woman. Like, no nah, joke. It's crazy how the Smith family used, uh, used to be held uh, on such high, rega high regard. They used to be so respected. And now people just rinse this family. They rinse Will for, for slapping Chris Rock. They rinse um, Jada for her entanglement. How, how the mighty have fallen. Anyway, someone said, I'm just happy to see us finally all pursuing... Oh, sorry, all pushing against this kind of crap and not caring about 
being called racist anymore. Someone said, uh, as a bonus, they've uh, they've insulted the Egyptians and the Greeks. Well done, Netflix. Top class workery. <laughs> Sorry, wokery. Like, this shit is just crazy to me. Someone said, as, as long as they don't mind uh, Dr. Martin Luther King being portrayed by Tom Hanks, I'm, I am okay. I'm like, even if you share this, uh, put, uh, put down that it's supposed to be fictional, but to be fair, that wouldn't have saved them neither. They still would have been, they still have been bashed and boycott <laughs> and all that shit. So yeah. They could have picked any, they could have picked any black historical figures, but instead they picked a Greek one. Like what? Funny thing is this is all for money. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm convinced it's all for money. It was all for the money and <laughs> in my opinion, and it ended up tanking. So yeah, yeah, go woke, go broke. And yeah, moral of the story, do not fuck with history, other cultures history. Because, because would you like it if they uh, if they fucked with your history and told it inaccurately? I just did, if they told Ghanaian history inaccurately, I I would be so pissed. But I wouldn't be the only one pissed, right? My whole family would be pissed. Like you'll just have <laughs> have my relatives talking in tree cussing it. <laughs> Excuse me. We'd be there. We'd be here looking. It's just like, Kosia. Oh, what? But get the fuck out of here. Like nah. What a, what a mess. It was a dumpster fire. At least this shit's being called out instead of so people looking away. But yeah, I'm a head out. What a mess. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like, subscribe if you want. I post if whenever I feel like it, and I'll see you next one. Bye.